I've got a very short, simple, sweet, to the point and to the profits that will come here on Bitcoin for you today. I'm going to be sharing some real great knowledge and insights into this chart, exactly what we can be looking for next. And I want to start off with explaining the last few days of price action since the last YouTube video that I made to bring you up to speed so you can actually lock in some profits with us on the next move to come. So, of course, this all started from our lower swing failure pattern, right? OK, we had this low and we formed that swing failure pattern. This is what I was talking you through on the last video, how we saw this swing failure pattern. That's, of course, a long trade and we were making our way up. Right. So from the start of that, how it starts to the progress to how it ends, that actually brought us all the way up to a higher target that I had there above this high for an upper higher value swing failure pattern. OK, so it really is what I'm saying right now. Right. This swing failure pan is the most overpowered trade setup in the world right now. It is the trade that gives the best entries, the best risk to reward and the best profits, period. OK, um, you know, I'm very, very happy with this. It's giving the lows. Well, then look at that. We were looking for it to give the highs. We've been this was the from the daily morning update, by the way, two days ago that I gave to my champions. It's simple, right? I'm just saying swing failure pattern is the only trade I'm looking for right now. From here to $30,000, we had a daily. I'm telling my team, I do not want to short anything internally before $30,000. So even if we reject from the daily, I will not short that. The daily I'm referring to is, of course, this one at 29700 Okay, you can see how clear I make it to my team, right? Not going to reject uh, from the daily. We're not. I'm not going to short that daily even if we do reject from it. I am waiting for $30,000. I am waiting for this swing failure pattern. OK, that is the most overpowered trade setup for long trades, and it's going to be the most overpowered trade setup for the short. Well, have a guess what happened next, my friends. We ended rising up through the daily to thirty thousand dollars and ending in a swing failure pattern. Come down here on the 15 minute time frame to look at that swing failure pattern from the lower SFP up to the high swing failure pattern. I want to get that into your brains because it is absolutely overpowered. From that swing failure pattern, which also was a rejection offered a weekly, okay, if you were EY'd, you had the weekly there at $30,231. We rejected from the weekly, we formed a swing failure pattern. From there, we ended up going a little bit sideways over the course of the day. And we started to build up some bearish divergences. These bearish divergences got extreme, to say the least, as we got a retest into the CC with here just millions and millions of longs opening up at the high of that candle, right? So we can actually see 7.4 million. OK, that's the highest of this bunch. Positive delta into the retest of the CC. So then we start to edge our way down. We got then massive bearish divergences on the retest of the high, okay, after a weekly rejection, after a swing failure pattern, big bearish CVD divergences. And what do we get next? We get a drop. We get that drop in price, okay? So from what I was lining you up for with inside the YouTube video, if you're a champion, of course, we made it even clearer what we were looking for to what we got. You know, it's all went very well as expected, right? So now what we're we looking for next, this swing failure pattern is obviously uh, now <laughs> confirmed. We can look for another swing failure pattern, right? Um, <laughs> keep on doing SFPs, overpowered trade setup. But in terms of uh, levels that we have uh, going forwards, this weekly is now, of course, tapped. We can remove that from our charts. Uh, we have a few internal and uh, naked pointed controls, right? So we have... I wouldn't really be interested in trading some of these NBOCs. You know, I will. you know, I'm always thinking to myself, confluence, liquidity. You know, do I have that here? So these are the type of things I think to myself all the time. Where's liquidity resting? OK, what's the order flow doing? And do I have confluence? Those are the three most important factors for me when it comes to trading, when it comes to taking my trades. OK, so. You know, I'm always thinking to myself that internally here on this one, we do have a little bit of liquidity resting, right? We do have the potential of another internal SFP. So, you know, this is for me like a more interesting level in direct comparison to, to this lower NPOC, right? So at the end of the day, I think what I want to convey to you in this video is how we keep trading simple and how we can keep that simplicity into 
you know, direct profits. Okay. So as simple as this, we're trading down here at $29,000. It's then explaining the thought process of, yeah, we have levels on the way to 30 K, but even though we have levels, we know not to short them because we know the biggest and best trades is there at 30 K for a swing failure pattern setup. Okay. So you can see the patience that I convey to my team that I have myself. A lot of patience is needed, right? To wait for those levels. And then it's having then the technical analysis and the ideas drawn out. So then when you actually see that swing failure pattern, you know, this is a clear as day swing failure pattern. You then have the confidence, okay, to take that trade. Of course, if you're at your computer at the time to take that trade. Okay. If you miss that trade, it's to then have the confidence to short a retest of the high rejecting from around the CC area with massive bearish divergences. Okay, with trap longs on the retest of the CC, you then have to have that confidence to take the short trade, right? And you are getting rewarded by these trade setups. So uh, for me, it's 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 lovely to uh, you know be sharing that with you. As I'll always say, if you want to learn the swing failure pattern SFP trade setup strategy, and of course many many more, then this is what you can learn at Chart Champions, right? Uh, of course, on the first day of the World Series of Trading, we were uh, first in the world of the English trading teams and 10th in the world of overall teams. Uh, the competition has only just begun. Uh, so there's still time to join our team if you would like. I'll leave all those links in the description down below. And of course, if you want to actually learn from us, uh, learn the content, learn the strategies, the exact strategies that we are using every day to take profits on this market, uh, you can learn all of that via our website at <clears throat> chartchampions.com, right? Um, so for me, the final words here or what we're looking at next, for me, it does require a bit of patience. I am still expecting another move to the downside here. Here we slightly front run this NPOC. And again, we had bearish order flow into the bounce. So personally, I am expecting another drop to the downside. That drop to the downside could be just another one to two hundred dollars, right? Take out this low and I'll wait to see the reaction. See if we activate the CCB setup. But for now, my bias is bearish. Okay, I'm looking for further downside. I want to emphasize one more time. That could be further downside of just a $200. Take out this low, get a reaction, take a long trade. If I don't get the reaction, that's where I'll look for a much bigger drop. Okay, so I'm bearish for another $200 to the downside. If I get a good reaction, I'll take a long. If not, I will, you know, remain with that bearish bias and continue to trade this down to really have a guess where. <laughs> see if we get another swing forward pattern of the low. Uh, so yeah, it's as simple as that for me. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, thank you ever so much again. If you want, like these type of YouTube updates, but you want them in more detail, if you want some more, you know, direct biases of mine, exactly what I'm looking at, that's what you get in the uh, live streams. Okay, I've already done my daily morning update for the champs. I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. If you want more, you know where to get it. Chartchampions.com. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.